Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video I am so 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 excited. I have dreamt for years to film a video like this like I mean going to the US has obviously been a dream for years but actually filming a haul a shopping haul from US has been like a dream for years and years and years at this point like I've been watching YouTube since 2015 okay so you can imagine like big 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 hauls I've been watching hauls forever of my favorite YouTubers them um shopping specific brands which are not available here in India and today to be actually sitting down and filming this video feels like a dream come true and i just wanted to share that in the beginning of this video um i also wanted to give you like two psas before we jump into this haul the first thing is actually three psas the first one is um i am filming with um i want to say like a tube light and there is also natural light as well but it's quite late it's like 4:40 in the evening and because it's the monsoon season luckily aaj to barish nahi ho rahi hai but um otherwise the light goes away rather quickly isliye maine aaj tube light bhi chalu rakha hai so if the lighting seems off or a little different i'm really sorry about that uh second psa is i want to uh, mention my lipstick which i'm wearing today and i'll try and do this in every single video going forward because aajkal i'm getting a lot of questions about my lipsticks and i usually tend to forget to mention them and fir agar koi mujhe puchta hai so then i have to go and find it um and of course i love sharing it with you so i'll try to mention it in the beginning of every video this one is miss claire's power matte lip color it should actually be somewhere here um maybe you know what i'll just quickly grab it ओके आई डिड ग्रैप द लिप कलर और मैंने लाइट भी बंद किया एंड आई थिंक द लाइटिंग लुक्स बेटर नाउ एक्चुअली माई आईब्रोज फॉर सम रीजन वो लुकिंग लिटिल बिट वियर्ड लाइक आई डोज फील लाइक आई लुक वेरी वियर्ड इट्स प्रॉबेबली बिकॉज मैं एक महीने से सेटअप में बैठ ही नहीं हूँ टू फिल्म सो दैट्स वाई मे बी इट्स लुकिंग डिफरेंट टू मी और आई डोंट नो बिकॉज आई हैव नॉट डन एनीथिंग टू माई फेस आई हैव नॉट मेड माई आईब्रोज थिन और एनी थिंग इट्स वॉट आई यूजली डू ऑल द टाइम एंड देर इज नो चेंज अदरवाइज सो मे बी maybe it's just because i've not seen myself in the setup for a while but if you tell a difference like if you prefer one more than the other or something like that um with tube light or without tube light let me know but filhal ke liye main tube light band hi rakhungi if i feel like it's getting really dark then i'll switch it on uh speaking about the lip color because hum uske liye hi gaye the uh this is 06 from miss claire it's the um, miss claire matte power lip color this is like my favorite lipstick of all time in my collection at least right now um and it won my lipstick tournament as well so i have i have like really fallen in love with this shade um on this trip as well so that's what i'm wearing today also now the third or other fourth psa now is that um there is no specific organization to this um video if you saw the thumbnail you would have seen ki i have one and a half suitcases full of um like new stuff to be bought on the trip some of them are gifts so i'll mention to you what is a gift and then i'll mention to you the stuff that i bought for myself as well and there is no organization at all i'm literally unpacking this we landed 4 hours ago and we stepped foot inside the house about 1 and a half hour ago so um i have no time to organize this stuff show it to you like स्टोर स्पेसिफिक और कैटेगरी स्पेसिफिक बिकॉज अगर मैं वो करने बैठती तो पूरा सनसेट हो जाता एंड देन आई वुड नॉट हैव बिन एबल टू फिल्म दिस एंड आई एम गोइंग बैक टू वर्क टमोरो सो आई वॉन्ट दिस वीडियो टू बी अप ऑन मंडे आइडियली विच इज वाई आई एम फिल्मिंग इन टूडे टूडे सैटरडे इन प्रेजेंट डे इट्स द ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर आई वॉन्ट टू से या टूडे इज द ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर सो एनी विच वेज Now that I have given you like a four minute long intro, let's jump into this video. नहीं तो ये video ना पक्का एक घंटे का होने वाला है, which it probably is by the time you're watching it. So, uh, yeah. Um, now the first thing <laughs> that came into my hand is actually my empties का bag. तो जो भी products मैंने trip पे empty किए हैं, I kept them in a separate bag and I bought them back because I wanted to show it to you in the empties video. So whatever is not haul stuff, I'll just keep all of that aside. क्योंकि जब हम packing कर रहे थे I wanted to ideally keep all the new stuff together, and then we had to like reshuffle the weight and stuff. So, काफी सारी changes हुए हैं. Now, um, there were a couple of things that we also got as a gift. मतलब we were visit visiting some family friends. So the first couple of things that come into my hand are things that they gave us. So I will just quickly show those things to you. There is a bag of 
baby Ruth. Um, this is basically like I want to say peanut butter, um, like peanuts and like it's a peanut butter chocolate. I want to say um, this is what it looks like. This is the first thing that I got as a gift from them. Um, also some saffron, um, which is supposed to be a specialty there. A specialty there. Uh, that's what I got to know from like a neighbor, like a neighboring seat passenger on our way back. And also these cardamom seeds like elaichi dana are supposed to be really great from there as well. Yeah, these two things she actually mentioned were great. So I mean it's, we didn't know that but it's glad I mean we're glad that we got that as a gift. And then there are these Harry Potter themed kisses. These are milk chocolate ones. Um, then there are some almond joys. Um, this is the snack size. And then there is a bag of Hershey's milk chocolate but with almonds. Um, so this is some of the stuff that we got um, from like the family friend that we visited in New Jersey actually. Um, then I have one more gift. Now this is something my aunt got for me from Bosco. I'm pretty sure uh, she bought this. It's a really nice like I want to say like a sling bag. So there is a compartment in the front and there are two compartments on the back. Uh, she was actually looking to give me like a small tote bag but it was auntie like it was not exactly my style and it was black so I usually tend to prefer black uh, if I'm getting a bag because it's easy to wear and stuff so when I saw this I was actually looking to buy something like this from India itself from Amazon um, I will leave a link to what I'm talking about my friend has that and I really loved it so I was planning on buying that but I didn't have I had not bought it yet and then when we saw this at Bosco, I was like, if you are gift me something, then just might as well gift me this, it will be more useful. Uh, so she gifted me this. It was like a birthday gift basically. So this we got from the store Bosco or Bosco. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I have said vlog in the vlog. And someone thought I'm saying Costco, which I wasn't. Um, I've never heard of the store, but it's one of the best stores. Because we've done a lot of shopping from Bosco actually, which I'll show you eventually. Then, um, uh, okay, this looks like oh, this is the bag of stuff that we bought from um, Hershey's. So, Hershey's has like a um, experience zone basically, it's called Hershey's Chocolate World. I think it says on the bag also, yeah, it says Hershey's Chocolate World. So, we had visited over there. Um, it's basically, of course, a big merchandise store and stuff. So, this is all the stuff that we bought from there but uh, apart from that you can actually see like an animated version of how they actually make chocolate they don't take you through the factory like we experienced in um, the chips factory hers um but um, it's still like a cool fun experience and it's free by the way um but you can also make your own candy bar which you have to pay for um you can like get tickets and stuff we did not end up doing that because the day prior to that only humne uh, ice cream factory guys and we literally each of us had a pint of ice cream so we don't want to again do like a similarish thing so i spent about 16 dollars and 90 cents over here since i have the bill in the bag itself i'm telling you the prices i was also going to mention this in the beginning uh whatever i'm able to find prices off or if i remember prices off i'll tell you uh, or give you like a ballpark range uh, but if I can't remember the prices, I'm really sorry. Um, I'll try to Google and find if I can. Um, otherwise, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Um, so um, from Hershey's, we bought four candies. You might be surprised that I didn't buy Hershey's with chocolate. Liya. The reason for it is I don't eat chocolate. I am much more of a candy girl. We did though buy um, some chocolates for the family friend that we were visiting in New Jersey. So whatever we bought was for them and we gave them to them. So I think it's the price that is included. $16.90. Um, yes. Uska bhi price is included hai. So uh, from Hershey's Chocolate World we got what is this called? Sha uh, XL gummies. This looks like green watermelon, mixed berry, and pineapple flavored. Uh, then there are some Jolly Rancher gummies. There is a uh, Jolly Rancher sour gummies. Now I am a sour candy girl through and through. So I'm gonna hopefully enjoy these a lot. And then there is also Twizzlers, which are cherry flavored. 
there were other variations of twizzlers as well but i picked up this one and it's very i think mujhe ye teen cheeze offer mein mili thi uh, for like i want to say 10 dollars or 8 dollars something like that for these three specifically and then this is uh, how much is this I'm not sure you guys, and I don't want to spend too much time because already we're ten minutes in, and I've not even finished one bag. And the other bag has double the amount of stuff that is in this bag. So let's let's keep moving through. Then this is something that I bought from Five Below. It's a car uh, mobile stand. Uh, this is a gift that I bought for someone else. I don't have a car, so obviously मुझे ये कोई काम का नहीं आने वाला है. Again, something I was going to buy from India itself from Amazon. I was even looking for options, but when we were in Five Below, I saw this and I was like, okay, it's like around five dollars ish. Um, so let me just buy it from here, and it'll be like a cool thing to tell my friend that ye me, um, I bought this from US for you. So I was like, take it. Let me just pick this up. Then um, this is something I think I found at Marshalls. Um, again, I found this in a couple of different stores. It's like that bubble uh, headband thing, which is so popular. I've seen so many different YouTubers wear stuff like this. Or again, this is also something to India. Me milta hai Amazon pe me khareed sakti thi. But this was like six dollars. Yeah, it says on the tag right here, so I know I got two for six dollars, which is pretty cheap if you think about it. Like two for five hundred. I don't think India me itna sasta milta hai. At least not online. Uh, stores me milta hoga shayad se, but I have not seen really good ones anywhere. I like the colors also, so I ended up buying this. This was some Marshalls once again. Um, then let me show you more stuff that I bought. Uh, so there has to be one more deodorant. Um, this I bought from the Dollar Tree actually. So it was around I want to say one dollar and twenty five cents or something. This one and then another deodorant. The other one was cucumber and mint uh, scented, and that is actually probably my toiletry bag. So what ended up happening was I was supposed to carry my own deodorant, but I supposedly somehow ended up. For getting to pack it, so I didn't have any deodorant with me, and I think for the first two weeks of the trip, I didn't even use any deodorant at all. Um, and yes, I I could feel the stink coming through uh, towards the middle of the day, especially um, on days when we are sightseeing. अगर घर पे है तो नहीं इतना होता है, but if you're traveling, then definitely you can start feeling the stink. So when we were at Dollar Tree. um i saw this deodorant and then another one for like $1.25 i was like that's crazy this is the brand swarf it's supposed to be very popular there and one thing i do want to say is um i'll mention this in my like usa guide video as well but if you get a chance to go to a dollar tree which is close by um i would suggest doing it in the beginning of your trip rather than doing it later we did it much later in the trip which i kind of regret because if i had gone earlier ye main day one pe pick up kar leti and i could have used it for my entire trip second thing is dollar tree if you're into candy is an amazing place to buy uh candy you will get smaller packets and they will be cheaper as well especially if you want to try out different candy and then find out your favorites also i feel like some things are much 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 cheaper in the dollar tree whereas you'll end up paying more for the same thing in other stores so try to compare different stores and of course you have to see what's close by to where you are based as well like if cvs is close by or walmart is close by uh walmart is supposed to be cheaper but there was not any walmart in philadelphia where we were staying but when we went to new jersey we went to walmart and i bought a lot of makeup from there as well and i heard from multiple people who are based in the us that walmart is cheaper than other stores so just throwing out these tips as and when we go um i bought this also from um walmart by the way since we're talking about walmart this is the covergirl clean invisible um loose powder in the shade translucent fair ye maine ulta mein bhi dekha tha but i was really confused on the shade and i'm pretty sure this was also cheaper in walmart where i bought it from in new jersey um and again i bought the shade translucent fair i've not even opened it so i don't know if it's going to work for me or not shade wise but we'll make it work um since um i packed the other stuff that i bought from walmart as well all together let me talk about all of those things to you like all together so um 
I bought a backup actually of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Setting Powder. If you watch my full face of drugstore makeup video, I featured the same product over there, and that was a different bottle, like a different dabba, which I will eventually get as I keep unpacking. But this is actually a, a fresh new one. So the first one I think I bought from Five Below, and it was five fifty five over there. I bought it. I filmed that video, and I honestly fell in love with it. I've used this powder three times since, and I love, love, love the finish so much. I love the quantity in this as well. So later on, towards the latter part of the trip, when we stopped at Walmart, and I picked up other makeup, and I saw this one as well. It was, I think, a little bit more expensive, like just a couple of cents, not much, um, of a difference. In Walmart, I was like, I don't care. I'm just gonna buy another one because I'm gonna fly through my first one, and I know I would want a backup. So yes, I'm probably going to finish up both my dabbas by the time my aunt goes back again next year to US, and I'll make sure to buy more backups that time. So absolutely loving this Wet n Wild Photo Focus powder. इसलिए मैंने एक ही trip पे दो बार खरीद लिया. So yeah. Uh, then other stuff that I also bought from Walmart is this Wet n Wild blush. This is in the shade Bed of Roses. Uh, by the way, I forgot to mention, it's not any shade. Nahi hai. This is only one shade. It's translucent. Uh, Bed of Roses from Wet n Wild is like a peachy pink. I want to say there is a little bit of peach in there. It's coming off more pink on camera. But yes, it's it's quite a nice peachy pink. Um, then I also bought this Cover Girl blush in the shade. um coral crush now this one was a little funny because it says coral crush i don't think this shade is coral at all it's coming off pink on camera and it pretty much is a nude pink um so yeah i found it to be a little funny that this is called coral crush um then i found this brand pretty smart now i've heard about pretty smart cosmetics from a couple of youtubers they have a bronzer powder um iska mujhe sticker nikalna padega then i'll be able to show you the color so in this i was going to do a little bit gadbad the um, the face powder and the bronzer were kept together and pehle maine galti se na face powder utha liya tha it was like a darker shade so it looked like a bronzer but then i'm like nahi this looks wrong to me i think i'm accidentally picking up the wrong thing so then i went back and i actually grabbed the bronzer this shade hopefully works for me and is not too dark because i don't want a super deep bronzer main usually lighter bronzer hi le leti hu something that fair people use because i don't want to be super super bronzed so hopefully the shade works for me it is um i think number 050 and it's called hermosa 2 i think so yeah and then Uh, the last thing that I see over here for now is the Milani uh, Gilded Mini um, Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Whiskey Business. Um, now this one, I asked you guys if you want to see a review on for my subscribers, like pick my makeup wala um, segment which I'm doing. And this one didn't get a lot of votes, so initially I did not end up buying it. But then uh, when I saw it at Walmart and Honestly I really wanted this palette for myself this one and the elf one I did not want to buy I mean they are popular on the internet but I just wanted to buy them for me because they are all matte palettes and I feel like the shades are actually something I will use um the makeup by Mario ones I also wanted to pick up but when I saw them in store first of all they are $50 second of all I felt like a lot of the darker shades I will never use it may be hair darker shades though but i feel like it's so much cheaper and there are just two shades that i won't use all the other four shades i'm pretty sure i'm going to hit pan and completely use up so it was more worth for me to buy this personally just to be honest um we really need to you know bump up the speed of this video so um let me quickly show you all these bags which we bought from bossport so these are like tote bags um so this is one This is two. We have bought all different designs. So if one or two designs are repeated, this is three. This is four. These are all zip wallet tote bags, by the way. Ah, uh, this one is probably repeated. Ah, this one is repeated. And then this one is not repeated. Uh, I forgot the count, but I'll just show you the designs. 
we bought 10 in total of these bags ye wala maine do liya so this is the gift and then there is one more which we already used on the flight while coming back which is like for me basically like for us uh, me and my mom so ye wala humne do liya because i love the design so i was like mujhe ye design mil le chahiye and then this is the ninth slash the tenth one probably because there is one which is currently in use uh, we use that on our way back like i said so these are all from bosco they um, i won't tell you the price because again these these are going to be gifted to people so but they were super 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 cheap actually you know what i'll just tell you the price these are 590 i believe five dollars and 90 cents so um these make really good like stuff to gift they have zips as well and um, these bags we had seen on our first trip uh, when we went to bosco the first time and we didn't pick it up then we were like um, let's buy it from delaware instead but delaware ke bosco mein ye bags the hi nahi there were similar looking bags but different and much cheaper in quality but the same price so again that did not make any sense ki aisa kyun hai like Bosco to Bosco, different different stores में difference क्यों है But because we were not convinced on the quality and अगर आप किसी को gift दे रहे हो तो price उतनी matter नहीं करती लेकिन चीज quality उसके पीछे का sentiment thought all that matters. So um, that's why we were like अगर quality पसंद नहीं आ रही है तो नहीं खरीदना है ये नहीं देना है um so then we went to a third location um closer by to where we um were staying but not as close by and luckily there we found these to vlog agar aapne dekha hai to you saw the day that we went and luckily humko us din mil gaye ye bags wahan pe so we bought 10 pieces one for ourselves and the other nine for like family members basically um to give as gifts because obviously agar hum इतने बड़े ट्रिप के लिए जा रहे हैं इट वॉज माई फर्स्ट इट वॉज आर फर्स्ट टाइम इन द यू एस एंड माई पेरेंट्स का फर्स्ट इंटरनेशनल ट्रिप सो वी हैव टू मेक श्योर कि खाली हाथ तो वापस नहीं आएंगे सबके लिए कुछ ना कुछ गिफ्ट तो लाने ही थे सो दैट्स वाई वी वॉट दीज बैग्स एंड ऑफकोर्स देर इज अदर स्टफ टू दैट वील बी गिविंग दैम लाइक यू नो चॉकलेट्स एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट बट या दिस इज द बिगेस्ट चंक ऑफ गिफ्ट दैट वी प्रॉब्ली बॉट अपार्ट फ्रॉम चॉकलेट्स um let's quickly move on now this is also something that i got from five below this is like a calendar um like wo page wala jo calendar hota hai they also had the um the board ones like the dry erase ones basically um and i was planning on picking that one up actually but then i was like nahi it will be heavier and also i'll have to pin that up somewhere on a wall or something like that um so us acha let me get these these are not reusable obviously but chal jayega to isme 12 ke 12 months ke calendars honge and this i mainly wanted to get to like make my entire schedule for youtube videos and shorts and stuff like that um and write it on your to plan the entire month basically so that's why i got this and this was also super cheap i want to say this was like 5 dollars maybe even less than 5 dollars but yeah something around that and then i also got this notebook it's like a gratitude journal basically it says nightly notes but if you see the inside uh, you can basically mention um, like what happened today what i'm thankful for so again like a gratitude journal basically and uh, i wanted to buy again one from india it says i feel like a lot of these things i wanted to buy in india but then mujhe wahan mil gaya and sasta mil gaya so i'm like chalo wahan se le leti hu so um, i wanted to buy one from your like online there were a couple of websites i was checking out but then when i saw this one for like 555 or something i was like okay let me buy this and let me try it out like a cheaper alternative if i end up finishing this entire book i'm definitely going to invest in a gratitude journal which i'll buy like your in india then um uh, this is also like a backup so this is a snack that i found at either tj max um, or marshals i don't remember the first time where i bought it from and i bought it again towards the beginning of the trip and i loved it so 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 much i finished like half the bag and then i wanted to buy a backup so the second time when we went to marshals where i bought that headband which i showed you this one on that trip i also picked up this and you guys this was the last bag left 
all the other candy they had in store but this one was nowhere to be found luckily um the family that we were staying with um they actually helped me find this and i'm so 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 thankful uh, that we ended up finding this nice and mujhe backup nahi milta his ka and it's honestly amazing it's like sweet flavorful sour amazing 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 stuff then um uh, another thing that i bought from five below actually two more things um that i bought from five below and iske andar perfume bhi hai so pehle main perfume ke bare mein baat karti hu because i bought it on the same trip that i bought the headband and that backup wala candy so this is uh, by the brand the good scent so um initially i was just planning on checking out with this okay just one thing 6 dollars and done but then near the checkout i saw um curations by the good scent and this is solar floral edp uh it says vegan and cruelty free fragrance oil but it's not an oil it's an edp so um i saw this and then i was planning on buying both of these things and that's when um they helped me find the candy so we ended up like getting all these three things um on that trip and this scent initially when i smelled it even now actually now it's i feel like lag gaya hai thoda sa bahar perfume but initially when i spelled it in the store this one smelled like we will a juicy juicy kator so that's the reason i wanted to get this i want to give you that preface because this actually does not smell like that solar floral is very much a dupe of sol de janeiro um sherosa 62 is that like the main the boom boom cream scent basically i think so i don't remember the number but the main boom boom cream scent is what this smells like so um when i sprayed on sprayed this on myself the first time i was like oh my gosh matlab i think maine ek ya do hi spray kiya i was going to like over spray but then the minute i did those two sprays on myself i like stopped myself i'm like oh my gosh this is that soul shirosa something something number wala scent and i don't actually like that scent at all so i immediately stopped myself and i wore that the entire day i thought i'm going to get a headache eventually but i didn't uh and i think since then i've worn this two more times so total three times whenever i wear it i make sure to not spray it too much like one or two sprays and that's it um and i feel like it is wearable for me um but i'm going to have to spend more time with this and see how it works for me i really wish i didn't buy it to be honest and bought another perfume instead but um yeah that happened so i just wanted to mention that uh, i bought that and that's what happened with that then uh, coming back to five below another thing that i bought from there and that was all in one in one trip and i'm pretty sure i'm going to find more stuff that i bought from five below um i also bought this stanley cup dupe i want to say and you guys it's just five dollars like i saw this beautiful ombre looking mug um which of course i'm never going to spend 40 dollars on a stanley cup not happening mummy ghar se mujhe bahar phek degi but uh, when i saw this for $5 i'm like how can you beat it this is as cheap as it's going to get it was beautiful there were other colors available too and i was considering some of the other colors but mummy was like nahi get this kyunki black hai agar ganda hoga to itna dikhega nahi upar bhi purple hai it's really pretty and um, i've not started using this yet but i definitely will and uh, yeah i just wanted to jump on this um stanley looking cup bandwagon without spending stanley prices so five dollars did it for me um then um i have these cereal bars so um there are only five left but i'm pretty sure when i bought the box there were either eight or ten of it in there so this we got from one of the supermarkets i don't remember whether it was giant or shop right or any other supermarket uh, either of those two actually it's called the tricks treats so this was a uh, a box of like cereal bars um, i'm going to show you a close up of the photo so that you get an idea of what it looks like we already ate um, i want to say 3 so maybe it was a bag of 8 in total so there are five more and these were actually pretty good um but yeah i thought i'll bring the rest back home pura wahan pe khatam nahi karna tha so yes um i might also feature this in a shorts um just showing like a close up to you guys of what it looks like so yes i'm doing a lot of candy content on shorts by the way like trying out candy first impression stuff um also from the same five below which i keep referencing uh, i went to five below i think 
twice and both the times i ended up buying stuff so it's either the first trip or the second trip go figure um this was maybe the second trip uh, maybe it's a grape flavored fanta now if you know this about me um i love everything and anything grape flavored grape flavored chewing gum which i'm going to show you grape flavored candy also i bought and then fanta yahan pe to sirf orange flavor ka milta hai but wahan pe pineapple bhi milta hai jo maine try kiya hai and then grape wala bhi mujhe pehle hi kholna tha ye uh, my plan was not to bring it back but um, i didn't end up opening it and then i was like let me just bring it back and eventually consume it at some point um, so yes i'm going to try this out to i haven't tried it out yet so i cannot tell you uh the last two things in this bag and you guys already 30 minutes ka video ye video pakka 1 ghante ka hone wala i am pretty sure just giving you a disclaimer right now if it's not too late go and grab yourself something like a snack a drink something um now the last two things um this again art gifts from my aunt for me and my mom so um these are both watches that i believe they bought from jc penny uh this is the first watch and there is also a bracelet um in there and then uh so this is this one is technically for me um and then this this is the second watch this is a gift for my mom uh but this is not like a normal watch it's like an elastic band wala watch so yeah pretty cool they both very classic looking designs which is nice so um Yes. These are also stuff that we got as gifts from them. Uh this I forgot to show you. This is also from Bosco. Uh this is a perfume uh hit for me. It's from their in-house brand I want to say. Maybe it's in-house brand. I'm not sure about that. But it's from the brand Soli Notes and I bought this from Bosco. So there there was a display filled with perfumes and they're all supposed to be like one note perfumes. So this one is called Amande I believe, but it's basically almond. So um, this is like your typical standard um, almond fragrance. But you guys, it smells so amazing. You know what? I'm just gonna make this my fragrance for the day. I mean, not day, probably evening. And yes, I'm purposely spraying this in my hair because if I spray this in my hair, it's gonna stay in my hair till the next time I wash my hair. That's how long-lasting it is in my hair. um and it is such a beautiful almond fragrance it is super almondy warm sweet but not like sugary sweet um it's it's beautiful it's beautiful i sprayed this on along with other perfumes um from their same range like other one note perfumes basically and this is the only one that i kept going back to it was 25 is it 20 or 25 dollars but totally worth it Yes it's a 50 ml but it looks super small that being said i've used it like four or five times and zyada usage nahi dikh raha hai isme so hopefully it's going to last me a while and um hopefully i'm going to repurchase this one as well um because loved love 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 it so so much okay let me pause this video go and grab the second suitcase and that one is like completely full like completely full just filled with shopping stuff um brb Okay guys I'm back I uh, quickly just want to show you the second deodorant I just grabbed it out of my toiletries bag it's the power stick for her aluminum free cucumber mint deodorant this one I have used I want to say like this much of course wo full niche tak to nahi bhara hota hai but yeah there is this much left in there I used it for I want to say twoish weeks um that I was in the US so just for context Um uh, now let's move on to the big bag which is filled with shopping ka stuff. Um firstly we have a big family size of sour patch kids. Now this one is actually not for me. This one is for my nephew. He loves sour patch kids. I wanted to buy sour patch kids for myself as well, but I wanted to try so much other candy ki maine socha ki khud ke liye leke jana is it's fine, but I definitely wanted to bring bring this for him. So yes. That's why this big daddy. Like I was like, बड़े से बड़ा size लेके जाऊँगी मैं उसके लिए. So that's why I got this. It was like more than ten dollars, I want to say. But that's fine. Totally worth it as long as it makes him happy. Uh, let's feature more candy. I think if I talk about candy first, 
थोड़ा जल्दी जल्दी जाएगा एंड अगेन यू कैन फाइंड दीज कैंडीज इन ऑल डिफरेंट स्टोर दिस वन प्रॉबली यू के नॉट फाइंड एवरीवेयर आई थिंक यू ओनली फाइंड दिस इन टी जे मैक्स एंड मार्शल्स दिस इज द हैप्पी गमीज वर्ल्ड बेस्ट टेस्टिंग गमीज इट सीज इंक्लूड्स असोटेड गमीज बेड्स वर्म्स बोन्स सो इसमें बहुत सारा हेलोवीन थीम्ड कैंडी भी है यू कैन सी इट्स वेरी कलरफुल एंड आई डोंट गेट अ स्नीक पिक ऑफ वॉट इज इन साइड द बैग सो जब तक मैं ये खोलूंगी नहीं तब तक मुझे नहीं पता चलेगा बट इट्स अ वन पाउंड बैग सो देर इज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ कैंडी इन योर देन देर इज हरी बो सावर स्ट्रीमर्स आई एम प्रिटी श्योर आई बॉर्ड दिस फ्रॉम फाइव बिलो दैट्स द ओनली स्टोर आई सॉ दिस इन देन वी हैव सावर पैच किड ग्रिप्स एंड ट्रॉली सावर ब्राइट ऑल स्टावर स्टार मिक्स These two because they are looking small. I want to say I bought either from Dollar Tree or Five Below. Either of those two. Then um, we have another trolley. This one is Sour Bright Crawlers. This I think I bought when I was in um, Thailand as well, and I loved them, so that's why I wanted to repurchase it this time around. Then we have more trolley candy. We have Sour Bursting Craw Crawlers. I think these are basically different shapes of the same same candy. Then we have Swedish Fish Mini Tropical. Now this is open because some of the candies I did eat over there and I tried them out. So yeah, some of them also feel sticky. So I think जो जो packets open हैं, उनके साथ कोई छेड़खानी हो सकती है मतलब I I don't know what happened. I'll have to take care of this stickiness later. um then um in this bag i put all the open candy so there is um sour bright crawlers this is like a different variant then uh, let me keep the open bags alag se so that need no mujhe saaf karne mein aasani ho gaya then we have haribo sour bats this is also an open packet uh what else do we have Okay now this one was funny because I accidentally bought two of the same kind and obviously मुझे याद नहीं था कि मेरे पास ऑलरेडी है तो आई बॉट टू बैग्स ऑफ लाइक हरीबो गोल्ड बेर्स विच इज़ देर ट्रेडिशनल गमी बेर्स बट दिस इज द सावर वेरियंट लाइक आई टोल्ड यू नॉर्मल वेरियंट तो यहाँ भी मिल जाता है बट सावर वेरियंट यहाँ पर नहीं मिलता और मैंने गलती से दो अलग अलग दुकान से सेम चीज़ खरीद लिया सो दैट्स वाई आई हैव टू बैग्स ऑफ दीज then um this is something i bought from shoprite because it's a shoprite brand it says right here uh this is a dark chocolate bar again i don't eat dark chocolate in fact i hate dark chocolate but this is actually for uh one of my best friends she wanted me to get this for her and um yeah that's also a gift obviously then um i have this frankfurt gummy pickles pears so basically like pickle shaped um gummy candy and this is green apple so i love grape but i also love green apple a lot like green apple iced tea um green apple or kya milta hai mojito um and candy of course so we have that then um, what else do we have okay there is another big bag of candy in here ye bhi shayad sare open packets hai main actually wahan pe kaafi sare bags khole the candy ka this is my can i mega mix um this is not exactly like candy candy like gummy candy this is more like pellets which are different from flavors and they are all sour so that is what this is this is also open but wo reskill ho jata hai then um this is the grape uh, chewing gum i think i was talking about earlier and also some grape uh, flavored gummies this is the fettuccini uh, i posted a shorts on this which got so many views i was shocked how many people love grape flavored candy and this is the uh, grape chewing gum i was telling you this is ice breaker ice cubes and this is their arctic grape flavor really good actually but ye jab main khareed rahi thi mujhe realize nahi hua ki ye chewing gum hai i thought it's uh, i mean it said sugar free gum right here i didn't read it obviously but i thought this is like the ice breaker pellets wo jo circle mein dabba aata hai Uh, which you get here also and there also i thought it's going to be like that but grape flavored so yeah we didn't read everything very clearly uh then we have sour 
punched bikes um, and this is like basically they all look the same it's actually very delicious so i'm gonna just eat one as i talk but it could be any of the three or four three or four flavors which are mentioned right here on the bottom so that's fun because you don't know what you're eating once it's in your mouth only then you will know what it is then we have sour bright octopus like i said the sour brights are all different flavors and different shapes that's the only difference then we have these sour dudes these are also similar to those um assorted sour rings but different different shapes and it's called sour gummies fruit blast um that is it i think for this bag then we have um I'm just seeing if there's more candy, and there is. Uh, this is gummy snack pack. This was just fun to look at, so I bought it. Um, this is like peach slices. I want to say this is hot dogs, and this is pickle. I think so. Yeah, it was just fun looking, and I was like, let's buy it. Um, there was no other reason for it. Then. Um, Let's get rid of these two big boxes. Um, now both of these were from Costco. This is Kirkland um, signature crepes. Um, so it basically looks like uh, it basically looks like this, um, and you get these like rolls of crepes. I really want to try this out, but I wanted to film a video on it, so that's why I rukhi thi ki I'll film a shorts on it. probably while trying it out and then i will actually open it and start eating it and then the other thing is uh this it's called pretzel bites but they are all savory and there is dipping sauce in here as well ye to nahi leak hua hai ye to nahi lag raha hai leak aur iska to tip bhi nahi nikla maine i guess yahi leak hua hai shayad i'm not sure i'll check it out later but yes that is what we got these two were from costco and i don't remember how much we paid for them but we i remember we went to costco to buy chocolates which i will show you in just a second uh, but before that we have more candy and we also have a lot of makeup before that uh, let me show you this big bag of gummy bears again uh, which you get here but you don't get this big of a size and this is also a gift for a friend so that's the reason why i got it from there instead of getting it from here um then we have this um this is like a halloween themed um like different flavors of like burgers like those mini burgers but um there is like cherry green apple raspberry and grape flavored burgers and this is i believe like a halloween themed one because wahan pe to halloween mein generally bachcho ko candy baantte hain so they tend to buy like bags like this because these are all like individually wrapped ones so this is from the brand Fan- frankford and it's supposed to be like spongebob spongebob not sponge spongebob square pants themed um so we got that um there is makeup should i show you okay this is what i showed you initially but this bag is like half empty like you can see so because i got obsessed with this i bought a backup bag um then we have one last bag hopefully this is the last bag of candy in your i know some of you guys are going to think i'm crazy like how much candy can this woman eat uh, this is the fruit punch flavored uh, trolley sour bright crawlers Okay, I took that small break just to reshuffle some things around, and it's also getting darker and darker. इसलिए मैंने फिर से ट्यूबलेट चालू कर दिया है. Now let's jump into it. Also, that pretzel um, that we got, which had dipping sauce and stuff, it actually did leak. So that was probably what was causing the chikat chikat. So yes, if you're carrying food items, be extra careful and probably don't put it in your checked bag. Keep it in the carry on. So yeah. Now let's talk about this big bag of um, chocolates. When I say big bag, this is what I mean. Huge bag of chocolates. 
um, for some reason it's my pieces are not mentioned and it also says that the types and amounts of candies will vary but it's like a mixed bag now we've got two of these bags one is for me and one is for my mom and when i say that i don't mean like hum log ye pura bag khane wale what i mean is this is the chocolate that will be distributed among friends family office colleagues etc um and yes it's got everything it's got i think the names are mentioned here yeah uh, kit gad wafer bar sneakers um 100 grand that is another chocolate which i've never heard uh, m&ms twix uh, m&ms milk chocolate milky way Reese's peanut butter cup, Hershey's milk chocolate, and three Musketeers. I've heard of everything except for except for 100 grand and three Musketeers. ये दोनों chocolates का नाम मैंने कभी नहीं सुना है, but um, yes, this is the huge bag, and then there is one more huge bag जो थोड़ा दूर है, and it basically looks the same. So there is no point in showing you both. Um, but समझ जाना कि these were twenty dollars each, by the way, from Costco. and they are super big bags i'm sure there's like more than 100 200 pieces i'll probably count how many there are and tell you um later on like not right now but yes um costco is the best deal if you want to buy like a big bag of chocolates um like this and then again we got some other stuff from costco too jo baki stores mein available nahi the but everything else you can buy from like shoprite giant walmart whatever is close by to wherever you want to be in the us then i got a bag of cheetos crunchy um now this is not the variant of cheetos available here it's comparable i would say but um i felt like a little bit better and um my aunt had like a small bag of this in her house and i tried it out and i loved it so much that i wanted to buy the big size and again i was not planning on bringing this back but um there was so much snacks to eat in the house i cannot open and eat everything which is why we bought a lot of the snacks back like the fanta the pretzels um kokland to mujhe film karna tha the crepes that's why i bought it back but this is also something i could have eaten there a lot of the stuff like the all the different from variants of pringles i ate over there except for only one variant which i brought back which i don't have to show it to you here but i'll show it to you uh moving on to other snacks um there is also this called combos it's their um uh, pizza pizzeria baked pretzel um and it says the filling is made with real cheese so i'm going to try this out as well probably film it to while i open and share with you and do like a taste test um and then last but not the least we have this this is the sourdough pretzels now um the only pretzels i knew about were like the sweet ones and we did buy um a loose bag of milk chocolate pretzels which were so amazing we bought them from the lancaster farmers market which happens only on wednesday friday and saturday in case you're planning on visiting the milk chocolate pretzels over there were amazing we bought 2 pounds of those um again for ourselves and i'm going to probably eat it all up myself uh but um yeah those were amazing 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 i have those in my fridge these are salty pretzels and these are the sourdough pretzels this we bought from shoprite i believe and again there was some sort of offer which is why i ended up buying two bags of these um i have not tried them out though so it can be a gamble um not sure about that but what i actually wanted to buy was these these are the extra thin pretzels this is also from the same brand hers where we went to the factory and they gave us like a free complimentary like trial small size and i loved these pretzels i was not expecting to like pretzels with like salt on them but they're actually amazing and they literally make you salivate like i don't know if you guys can tell but i am salivating as i speak about this it was that amazing so i wanted to bring this back again for some close friends to just try out because they have probably not visited yet and they will at some point and i just wanted them to try it out so that's why i bought this big bag and we'll distribute this also among friends and family for them to try it out So that's why we bought such a big bag and the sourdough pretzels. Also, I'll probably make my friends try. But before that, I will try it myself and see how good it is. And hopefully, it's really good. Uh, then there are last two bags of candies which got um, like mixed with other stuff. So this I think I opened, but I resealed it again. This is the sincerely nuts, uh, lem uh, not lemon. neon sour worms assorted colors 
so again this is a resellable bag this one i got also from tj maxx i believe and i tried it out it was pretty good not amazing but not like underwhelming either let me quickly have one because i am salivating a lot you guys as i am like talking about all this food hmm it's pretty good i think i read this one in one of the vlogs it is the first or the second vlog leave a comment down below and let me know if you have watched like If you've watched any of the vlogs, and out of the four vlogs, how many have you watched? I would really like to know how many of my regular viewers and subscribers have been watching my vlogs, and if you enjoy travel vlogs in general. The last uh, candy, hopefully the last candy that I find in this bag, is the Warheads uh, new sour fruity blue raspberry flavor. Again, I love. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? I love sour flavored candy. So anything that says sour, I will pick it up, and hopefully hope that it's sour. Because some stuff says sour, but it's not actually sour. It's all sweet. Then I'm like, ये ये कौन सा धोखा है? Now let's move on to the food stuff. Um, not the food stuff. Wow, I cannot just stop thinking about the food, the clothes. Now all the clothes that I picked up were from Bosco. There were other stores like there was Nordstrom, Macy's. Um, did I pick up? I think I picked up something from Macy's too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I bought three things from Macy's. Everything else is from um, it's Macy's backstage. Okay, specifically that's the clearance wala Macy's like how you have Nordstrom and then Nordstrom rack. So similarly Macy's and Macy's backstage. So I picked up three things from there. I'll show you that first. Um, and I loved all the three things, by the way. The first one is this top, and the minute I wore it, my mom was like, "Wow, it looks so pretty." Wait, it's ulta. <laughs> Why is it ulta? I think who, उन लोग ने properly सीधा करके नहीं दिया while giving it back. Um, yeah, this is the first top. It's so pretty. The minute I wore it, I'm like, "This is so pretty. I, I want to buy this." It's it's really nice when I wear it and hopefully I will wear it and show it to you in some video some content. Then the second one from Macy's backstage was this one. Uh, this is also really pretty and I thought it'll be nice to wear like even to the office. Like it's color but not too much color and not too funky. It's still office appropriate. Um, so really nice, comfortable. And then the last one. Uh, it's actually very basic. I'll tell you that, but I still liked it regardless. Um, so I bought it. अच्छा ये सीधा ही था मैं उसको उल्टा करने जा रही थी. Okay. Um, this is the third and the last thing that I bought from Macy's. And by the way, the Macy's I'm talking about was in uh, King of Prussia mall. So yeah, really simple, basic top. I think very nice for like office wear. And I'm pretty sure this was all very very cheap, like under. Ten dollars, maybe twelve or thirteen maximum. Nothing more than that. Because whenever I'm buying anything, I always do the conversion in my mind. Ki rupees me, how much am I spending? And then if I think it's worth it, then only I will buy it. Mostly, I feel like clothes there are quite expensive. They're supposed to be really, really good quality, but still expensive. So, yeah, that's that's a carry out. Okay, there is one pair of pants that I'm seeing now. I forgot to bring your. It is probably with other clothes because I have worn that, and also this pant I have worn either once or twice. I bought this from Bosco. All the other clothes I'm going to show you are from Bosco. This pant you might have seen. Um, I have a photo in this pant. Uh, I know it's my display picture on WhatsApp, but I'm trying to remember whether you guys have seen it um, like somewhere on social media or not. But I love that photo. It was taken in like. a pumpkin patch farmers market kind of a place and it looked amazing like yeah so i wore these pants in that and i think i'm going to love these pants and wear them a lot because they're super duper comfortable even the second pair is very very comfortable now this pant is actually not for me it's for my mom because it's super duper loose on me and it's also a little bit short on me but it's so pretty i wish it was longer i would have kept this even if it's loose uh, it's completely fine 
and all the clothes from Bosco, by the way, that I bought were like six or seven dollars. Everything was on clearance, so the sizes are a little bit off. Like even this pair of pants is super loose on me, but because it's got this tie-up thing, I can make it work for me. This is an elastic one, so it's super loose and I can't make it work for me. Um, but yeah then uh this one i'm pretty sure was also from bosco maybe on the second trip i can't remember uh it's a really pretty floral top um some of these tops you might have actually seen me wearing on instagram stories if you follow me on my instagram uh because um i did like a try on buy or not buy uh kind of giving you glimpses of all the stuff that i was buying in terms of clothing um, and then the last piece of clothing which I have is this top right here. Now I'm remembering I also have one more green top which I have, which is not here because I wore that one too. But this is a similar style to that. It's like a shorter sleeve, short kind of a style like it's got a collar and stuff. And it's a nice short um, shirt but would go really well with like black formal pants like my favorite ones from Sassfras would look really really good with these so that is pretty much all now the last things that are left are like all the makeup um, and some of the perfumes as well but that is all that is left uh, firstly I'll show you this this is the Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 76 fragrance it's I think the newest one and this is also not for me this is also a gift for my niece this time so for my nephew I got um, the gummy bears um, not gummy bears sorry Sour Patch Kids and then for my niece I got this because she has a big Sol de Janeiro body mist collection so I was asking my sister which one should I get like which one does she need a restock on or maybe she is wanting to add more to her collection and this is I think the newest one which is why she does not have this one she has all the other ones um, so I ended up buying this one for her this is a big size actually this is a smaller size too which is $25 and this one I think is 36 or 38 I don't remember very well but yeah I bought that uh, and that I bought from Sephora um then um what else did i buy there is a lot of shopping that happened in um, the sephora in delaware um like i bought this charlotte tilbury film star bronze and glow uh this is the mini um one actually it's not the one that is like 50 plus dollars this one i think was 29 dollars if i remember uh, this is what it looks like and uh, I'm sure you've seen this product a million times like why am I even showing it to you but this is what it looks like uh, I feel like the photos can sometimes make it look darker hopefully I mean yeah hopefully because I've not tried it on yet but uh, I'm hoping the shade is not too dark uh, and it's kind of what I like I'm pretty sure some other people might be thinking oh we want a darker bronzer because we want it to look good on us and I think they have a deep medium deep shade or something like that um, then I also bought the house laps by Lady Gaga blush this one is in the shade for mellow peach now this was like a last minute purchase I was not planning on buying this one but a lot of the stuff in Sephora Delaware was out of stock that I wanted and uh, I was still within my budget and this shade I actually wanted to get because I'm looking for a dupe for my um, Tarte Charmed blush uh, which I wanted to buy a full size of that on this trip but turns out that blush was available only as a limited edition shade in their um, what is it called you know the blush set that they do every time during the holidays um, that's where I bought that and um, yes it's not available as a full size so uh, I'm trying to dupe that shade uh, I bought this Sephora blush for the exact same reason too it's the blush in the shade flirt it up now by the time you watch this video there are only two videos live uh, one is full face of drugstore makeup and one is full face of Sephora collection makeup now even though it says full face there are like three or four new products i'm testing out in both of those videos and if you want to go and see what this shade looks like you can go and see it on there in that video and um, i actually think it's pretty good i would not say it's a dupe but it gives me the same vibes so i'm very happy about this purchase because this shade definitely works for me uh, i will do like side by side comparison um, too like don't worry about that 
we also have a sephora matte bronzer this one is in the shade golden getaway um now this i was actually a little shocked because in store the shade looked super light um and i wanted to get a deeper shade but then i think i picked up the wrong one because they have the testers in front and then they have the fresh piece in the back and sometimes people mess up the order when they're keeping it like there no one helps you you just go and pick up what you want and check out right so uh, when people are going through the shelves sometimes they sometimes they mess up like they put the shade number 1 with shade number 3 or shade number 3 with shade number 1 you have to kind of make sure you're picking up the right shade when you're picking it up and with everything else i didn't make any mistakes but with this one i was going to pick up i think shade 2 or shade 3 i'm glad i didn't because that one would have been even more darker than this maybe this is actually the shade number 1 um in the sephora bronzer by the way wow this video is going to be more than an hour long i wonder who's going to actually watch the entire video uh, now that i'm thinking about it why did i make it one big video i could have just done like two separate videos but uh, well it's too late to change my mind now so uh, let's just quickly keep going now this i bought from ulta this is ulta this is the elf um, eyeshadow palette in the shade wow how did i forget this shade this is like such a popular shade i love you a lot eh? i think uh, and this is like something well though it's available in india it's always out of stock on nika and when i did my subscribers um like choose what like subscribers pick my makeup basically this one i think got the most amount of um votes why is this not opening it can sometimes be hard uh, to open the packaging on these products and it is the case for a lot of things by the way so um shit i was going to just stab my nail in there Okay this is what it looks like. Some of the makeup is really hard to open and then I feel like I'm going to end up chipping my nails while I do it. So um this eyeshadow palette also I've used two or three times already and I absolutely love it. So very excited about that. Um then um what else did I buy from Ulta? I bought the Essence All About Matte and uh, Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. Now these two I'd heard Andrea Mitellano talk about recently um and I was like I'm going to pick them up just to try them out and see how they are so even though this was not very high up on you guys's list of what you want to see reviews on but I wanted to buy this just for myself they were super duper inexpensive and I also bought the Milani silky matte bronzer Kelly Goot has been talking about this for years and years and years and I've seen her talk about this for so many years that I wanted to buy it so I bought the shade Santan I was going to buy shade number 01 but that looked super duper light this is also something that is very hard to open you guys um but when i saw the shades in store first of all they all look very very similar to each other and um then i was like okay let me buy suntan i don't think i have um no i think i have used this once in one of the videos so the shade doesn't look too bad and uh, it's going to work out for me but it's not opening uh okay i'm going to have to try that uh later uh then i also got the la girl just blushing blush now this again i found it five below i was not expecting to pick this up um uh, i had seen this on in on the alta website uh and it was a really nice affordable matte blush so i thought i would buy it when i was here when i was making my wish list but then when i went there i didn't see it in alta anywhere but when i saw this at five below i was so happy that i bought it This was not hard to open. Why is this not opening? Is something wrong with my hands? Okay, no, it opened. Uh, so this is what the shade looks like. It's the perfect nude pink shade. Uh, it's called Just Playful. Now a lot of these shades might look very similar to each other, but that's completely okay by me because I don't want a diverse blush collection. What I want is actual products that would work for me and like. you know for my skin tone and stuff so i'm okay with a lot of the blushes looking similar to each other so this is that then we have um, let's talk about some high end makeup so uh where is my fenty beauty powder yeah it's here okay so the fenty beauty powder i picked up uh, during the 21 days no 21 days of beauty yeah 21 days of beauty the date was available uh, 50% off that day i went to pick this up and i bought the shade butter i was confused between butter and banana but i ended up going with butter and when i was there i also 
uh, before getting into checkout like morphe is for some reason the first aisle when you enter the store it's also close to the checkout so i ended up picking up the morphe bake and set setting powder in the shade banana as well this also had three shades there was a translucent there was a lavender and there was the banana shade i just went safe and i went with banana because sometimes the translucent shade can be too dark if it's not actually translucent and sometimes it works so yeah in this case i just picked up banana instead i also picked up nars uh, yeah the bronzer as well as the blush now the bronzer was also available on 50 percent off but it was an online only um thing basically which i didn't know so i ended up going in store uh, and they told me no this is only available online so they helped me place the order online but get the delivery at my house and um, i paid for it in store at the you know at the checkout counter so um i in that specific order i bought uh, laguna what shade of laguna did i buy i think this is the og laguna uh, but it says over your number zero three so i am not completely sure but this is the matte laguna um bronzer again i looked at all the different shades and this one looked um most ideal for my skin tone so i ended up going with this specific shade um and yes i wanted to say that always make sure to see all the shades in person if you can instead of directly buying online because a lot of the shades that i was expecting i would pick up when i saw them in stores they looked way too light for me and then i ended up going with darker shades that happened with the milani bronzer that happened with nars i believe as well and then some other products too the same thing happened uh, and then i also picked up the nars blush this is in the shade orgasm edge now i didn't want the og orgasm because that one had shimmer but the shade orgasm edge actually looked like a really really good shade i know nars is available in india but i don't know if this specific shade is available in india so uh, yeah do your research this is um, another like peachy pink kind of shade um again i'm going to compare all of these shades to my uh, tart charmed blush to find the perfect dupe so hopefully i am able to find something that is not limited edition which i can actually buy and repurchase um so yes uh we we bought that then um what are the last couple of makeup products let me grab everything out of the bag and then i will talk to you about each of them so um from sephora um i picked up one perfume uh i smelled this initially in store and i was like i'm not sure if i like it but then it kind of like as i kept thinking about it it kept growing on me but um i was not sure if i really want to pick up a full size or not because it's a lot of money and i don't want to end up regretting it later on so i bought a travel size uh, of ls brooklyn miami nectar now um buying a travel size can be more expensive if you think about the value uh but if you are not sure about a scent then definitely pick up this i feel like it's definitely worth it uh because you get a lot of product to test it out and i would rather buy this uh be confident that i will definitely want to get a full size and then only spend the money on the full size it just makes sense to me to do it like this so that's why i bought a travel size of miami nectar i also wanted to buy a travel size of uh wild daisy from mark jacobs that's the one with banana in there but um it was not available at it, it was out of stock basically at the sephora in delaware so i ended up getting only this one if that one was available i would have definitely bought that one too uh then i also bought the milk makeup pore eclipse um matte translucent setting powder this is the shade translucent medium again i was so glad i got the last one in this shade uh, you cannot see the color from outside but they had testers available and i saw that this is the right shade for me so i ended up buying this it's a very sleek looking packaging i have to say i like the packaging on this one a lot and it was very popular because like the shades were sold out i also bought the rare beauty um, loose powder this one is in the shade uh, light medium 
again i recently heard was it kelly gooch i think it was kelly gooch talk about this one and um, yes this shade looks a little bit more pink i'm not sure on the colors but i'm really hoping that most of the colors will work out for me but we will only know once we do the the try ons and the first impressions um, and eventually doing reviews uh, okay even after having the tube light on i feel like the lighting is getting worse and worse so let me quickly wrap up with this video i also bought the fenty beauty sun stalker um uh, instant warm bronzer warmth bronzer this one is this one is in the shade shady biz i think this is the other product i was talking about where uh, i wanted to initially get in the sun because that's the lightest shade and i thought that would be the best shade but when i saw in the sun in store it looked like a face powder for me so that's why i ended up going with shady biz this is like a magnetic pan but it's not opening Corner, just not open. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna have to show you this outer packaging because the actual packaging is not opening. Um, so yeah, that is my Fenty Beauty bronzer. Uh, I think the last couple of things. Okay, we also have these like free samples that I got from Sephora and Delaware because that was probably like more than two hundred dollars worth of products that I was checking out with. So she gave me two Sulvasu samples. I wish she let me pick what samples I wanted to be honest, uh, but she was just like she was like, since you bought so much stuff, I'm just going to throw this in your bag. And I'm like, okay, thank you, but at least ask me what I want. Maybe I wanted something else, but then, yeah. Um, so she gave me two Sulvasu samples, uh, the cleansing foam and the first care activating serum. Now yes. These two are very popular cult favorite products, but I am not interested in any of them. So um, yeah, I, I, let's see. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but this one I might use. This is the Kerastase uh, Mask Chroma Filler. I think it is supposed to be a hair mask. It says anti porosity deep filling mask system for sensitized or damaged color treated hair, medium to thick. So this I will actually probably use. Will I buy a full size of this? Probably not. But will I use the 30 ml sample? Yes, I will. Then uh, the last three um, like drugstore products, and I believe I bought these two from um, Ulta Beauty. This is the Primer Infused Matte Bronzer from Elf. Uh, is there a shade? I don't think there is a shade. Uh, I want to say this is the only shade because it doesn't say the shade name anywhere. Okay, no, it's Forever Sun Kissed. That is the shade name. and also the elf hd um, loose powder now this one is not available here in india this one is but again i was there and i was at some points i was just going makeup crazy and was putting stuff in my cart and then other points i was like thinking through my purchases a little bit more so this was one of those moments where i'm like i'm seeing it right here in front of me it looks super affordable because i did the conversion in inr and i ended up buying it and then the wet and wild mega glow contour palette i bought this either from five below or walmart either of those two places i can't remember it's in the shade dulce de leche i think i bought this from five below because i don't remember buying it super recently like walmart i went towards the end of the trip when we were in new jersey but this i bought a little bit earlier so this i believe i bought from five below um and again this is something i've wanted for a very 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 long time uh, and i can buy this in india i think uh, i'm not sure because but in while was available earlier more easily now it's not available as easily i don't remember but i saw it i've heard about this for so long so i just wanted to buy it oh shit <laughs> there is like so much makeup stacked in front of me that now it's like we're not going to steer anymore we're going to fall Yeah, some of this is super expensive, so I don't want it to fall. Now, um, I have some boxes. Okay, there is one last makeup product. How did I forget to talk about this? Because this too I bought such a long time back. This is the one size um, bronze and sculpt trio. Now, one of the days that I was in Sephora, uh, they had a promotion going on um, that you will get a ten dollar credit on your next purchase if you shop for seventy five dollars. And on that same day. Uh, I ended up picking up stuff instead of saving it for a later day, uh, because this particular product was fifty percent off on that day. So um, 
I always get confused कि कौन से side से खुलता है ये This is what the palette looks like. There are three shades. Now the tones don't look that different to each other. I have to like actually put it on my face and see how different they are. It just looks like three pans of the same product to me personally. Even though it says what does it say? Sculpt bronze. No, there were like three different things. Was it on the on the shelf? Uh, no, it says the names behind. And this is the light trio, by the way. They had like different um, color options too, like light, medium, deep, etc. So uh, because this was fifty percent off, it was like nineteen or twenty dollars. I want to say so. I was like, that's a steal. Let's pick it up. One size is a very good brand. At least that's what I've heard. I've not tried anything from them. I wanted to pick up the loose powder too, but I feel like I can pick that up here in India as well. So that's the reason I didn't pick it up from there. Uh, okay, so I was telling you that I bought some um, earrings and some pendants as gifts for my girlfriends. So um, one of the pendants that I picked up is this uh, infinity sign wala pendant. I don't want it to drop, but I'm gonna try and show it to you. So I bought I think four or five of these. Let me open each box and see how many I bought. Okay, one, two. Uh, okay, this one is different. Three, I think four. So one is for me, and the other three of my three closest girlfriends. So um, I wanted this to be like a gift, um, and also I, the infinity sign is super cute, but it also like symbolizes like our friendship forever, basically. So I bought these four um, for them, and then this one I will probably keep or maybe give it to someone else. This is one in silver and it's just like a teardrop shape pendant. So um, these also I got from Bosco and I believe they were each four or five dollars. One of those two things, but so pretty, like so 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 pretty, and it's just five dollars. Like that is crazy. Uh, the last jewelry piece which I also bought from Bosco is this pair of gold. Um, hoops uh, i am a big hoop lover if you don't know that about me and these are just classic such beautiful hoops that i decided to buy these these were 10 dollars these were not 5 dollars but i still think it's a great deal for some stunning beautiful looking hoops so um i really wanted to get them so i bought that uh, these can just be a little bit hard to close because the hoop is pretty big and the box is smaller um okay now um wait there is one makeup product that i somehow forgot to show you it's the denasa myodex evolution powder i also bought this one from sephora and it's in the shade yellow so basically the banana shade they didn't bother calling it a uh, banana they are just calling it yellow so that is what that shade looks like uh, again i have not tested out any of these so i cannot tell you uh, i should also have my sephora Uh, not Sephora, yeah, Sephora collection loose powder, um, which I've opened already. The Wet n Wild loose powder as well, like the the bar that I opened, but I don't know where those two are. Um, and then last but not the least, I'm going to show you these two things, and then I'm going to end this video because this is probably my longest video in history on my channel. Probably, I should go and check. uh so these two perfumes i got from the flower website this one is the perfume emeline um and when i went to the website and i found that they going to discontinue this perfume i was pretty heartbroken now this is not for me this one actually has rose uh which i don't smell but this is for my mom so this perfume smells amazing on her we got the flower discovery set from sephora canada last time when one of my friend was coming from canada like he is studying in canada and he had come down so um he got this for me and he got the discovery set from me and this specific fragrance emeline smells amazing on my mom so i wanted to get a full size for her but when i found out this was being discontinued i was very heartbroken but i still wanted to get up get this one anyway because i really wanted her to have this perfume she has not spent any money on herself like i've done so much shopping clothes makeup chocolate candy everything 
she's not done any shopping on this trip so i really wanted to gift this to her uh, to be very honest so that's why i got this and then another fragrance in that same discovery set which i loved a lot on myself is floria so uh this one apparently is also being discontinued i did not know that um so i was again like should i buy a discontinued fragrance because i'm gonna fall in love with it and then not be able to buy a backup but um i was like you know what um uh, i am going to and i'll tell you why but first i want to show you this beautiful looking bottle i think it's not looking as beautiful because it's getting dark but i'm gonna take a lot of pictures with this in sunlight and show you how beautiful this bottle is so i ended up picking this up and to be honest i'm glad i did because i placed an order on fragrance net for two other fragrances and um something went wrong with my order with fragrance net uh they put it on hold and then they didn't let me like basically they did not even ship my order they just put it on hold and the money got debited from my forex card which i used to make the purchase so um I was really upset i sent them back and forth emails checking with what is the issue they asked me for certain details which i sent them and they were still like you know what this is not what we were expecting from you we they were looking for something else we couldn't figure it out and i just ended up canceling my order and that order contained um alien goddess intense and also clean reserve um was it solar bloom i think it was solar bloom yeah uh so i wanted full size of both of those fragrances and i decided those would be like my birthday gift to myself this year um like you guys know i do a birthday fragrance every year so it was going to be alien goddess since the beginning and then i also really liked um uh, clean reserve solar bloom i've always liked it and then i also bought i should actually show you guys that as well let me quickly show you so uh in one of my sephora um like one of the days that I went to Sephora I bought these two as well uh the clean reserve discovery set and the seven virtues peace perfume discovery set now the peace perfume discovery set has a lot of great fragrances like amber vanilla coconut sun cherry ambition which I wanted to try so that's the reason I bought this and I was hoping that I'll end up picking up full size of one of these which didn't end up happening but uh the clean reserve discovery set also had some great fragrances cells and tile by the way is a great one which i wanted to get but since i bought so many other fragrances i skipped out on that one but solar bloom which you can see is not even there anymore because i used up the entire um like sample size this one i did want to buy a full size of i've smelled it in the past as well i smelled it again and i really really loved it so i was convinced that i want a full size of that one and also uh, alien goddess intense so i placed an order with fragrance net for those two fragrances did not end up getting it so now i will probably buy alien goddess your like from tira beauty or something um or parcos i i don't know whatever gives me whichever platform gives me a better deal i'll buy it from there but now apparently uh, where did i keep the bottle the floor um floria oh my god where did i keep it um oh it's your yeah so the floor floria uh, perfume is going to be my birthday perfume for the year so i am glad i ended up buying this yes it's a discontinued fragrance but i am just going to keep it in my birthday perfume archive shelf which i will eventually make at some point um so yes that is uh probably the last thing of course there are some other things which are not your um which i could not show you but i kind of try to at least talk to you about them and tell you and honestly this video is so 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 freaking long my legs are all like sore at this point my voice is going the light is going um and yeah honestly this video is so 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 long uh but i really enjoyed filming so much and i hope you guys don't mind that it's so long i'm going to leave um this emoji right here and please leave it in the description box not sorry the comment section if you watch the entire video i want to know how many of you end up watching the entire video you can like take breaks don't watch the entire video like at a stretch maybe <laughs> watch it on three different days as a part by part by part because i can understand it's a very long video 
बट येस लीव दी मोज दर आई टोल्ड यू इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन इफ यू वॉच दी एंटायर वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू नो स्पेशली बिकॉज आई सेव्ड ऑल द मेकअप फॉर द लास्ट सो या that is it um thank you so much for watching and of course if you want me to review any of the candy which i share or the makeup too i will definitely be reviewing for sure but yes um if you have any questions uh let me know down below in the comment section and i will wait to your your thoughts because i know this video has been so 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 um like you guys have been waiting for me to film this video so i am so happy i could do it the day i came back and hopefully i beat jet lag as well leave a comment down below and tell me do you think i'm going to beat the jet lag or do you think i'm going to struggle for at least a couple of days let me know that too in the comment section but that's going to be it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching i cannot talk anymore i just can't thank you so much for watching until next time bye bye bye